Honda's new for 2017 CBR 1000 RR will come in three versions, base model, SB, and SB2. We didn't ride the CBR 1000 RR SB2 and we probably won't. It's made for racing homologation and Honda only plans to make 500 of them, selling for about $25,000 each. The SB will be widely available, and comes with a titanium fuel tank, lithium-ion battery, Brembo brakes, a standard QUIZKSHIFTER, and different paint, all for a base price of $19,999. The base bike will be available in two versions in the US, non-ABS for $16,499 and with ABS for $16,799. Both will use steel gas tanks, a lead acid battery, and Tokiko brake calipers. Like most other full Zoot superbikes on the market today, the CBR 1000 RR is a very complicated machine. Even more so now that it has ride by wire throttle for the first time in the history of a Honda inline 4. And it's disguised perfectly, in other words, it works just as it should. In that vein Honda claims, somewhat vaguely, to have updated 90% of all major components. Better take that to mean the important ones, because when it comes to the efficiency of a motorcycle, Honda thinks everything is important. In the quest to add power and reduce mass, the engineers at Honda honed in on all of minutia, especially in saving weight. It was big stuff first. Foremost. A new titanium muffler is more than 6 pounds lighter than last year's bike. The engine is 4 and a half pounds lighter. We'll come back to that, because of select magnesium covers and a lighter clutch assembly, among other things. The thickness of the frame has been reduced and, combined with the updated subframe and swing arm, bring the total weight savings to around 3 pounds. A new ABS system is a bit lighter, while the new six-spoke wheels are both lighter and more rigid. The bodywork is made from 1.8 mm thick plastic as opposed to 2 mm panels, which saves more weight. All of this stuff adds up to about 17 pounds of fat trim from the new CBR 1000. To understand just how serious Big Red's team was about shedding bulk, the next bit of R&D is pretty inspiring. Honda's team doubled that weight savings by lightening lots of small, seemingly inconsequential parts. If a bolt or screw could be hollowed out or made smaller, it was done. Hardware was cut down, plastic trimmings were made thinner and or smaller, and even fluid hoses were made slimmer and lighter. Add to all of this that the fuel tank carries half a gallon less when it's full, 4.2 gallons instead of 4.7. And Honda claims a total weight savings for 2017 of 15 kilograms, or 33 pounds.